As we all know, modern life can be difficult, but fortunately we have Matt Ewins to help us navigate through it. Matt, which of life's potential sinkholes are you building a bridge across this week? This week I'm giving some great relationship advice. <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> This week I'm providing some tips and clips to improve your love life. I'm a massive expert on the topic, having dated well over two girls from a huge variety of backgrounds. <laughs> I once went out with a girl who was so rich she had a conservatory. Mm. <laughs> Though to be fair, it was the only room in her house. <laughs> what a tiny building! <laughs> I miss her though. I have been going through a bit of a dry patch recently. It got so bad that I considered buying one of those sex dolls. But because I make all these videos, I think I'm probably more of a voyeur. So instead, I gaffer taped a dildo and a flashlight to two of those robotic vacuum cleaners just to see what happens. <laughs> Utter disaster! <laughs> I watch that for hours. Nothing sexy happens. <laughs> I need to go out more and meet actual people, but I'm a bit nervous and shy. I don't really have that many friends. I spend most of my weekends in the park trying to teach pigeons to play poker, and they barely know the rules. <laughs> What's that pigeon doing? I, I had a straight flush there. Why is he picking up my gambling chips? <laughs> these birds are crippling me. I lose every week. <laughs> well, that's partly my fault for using bits of old bread as gambling chips. <laughs> they just gobble it up. I've been trying to go out recently and make human friends, but I don't mind telling you that because of all this betting, I've become pretty skint. I mean, take a look at my last bank statement. I'm massively overdrawn. It's because I need to keep paying these damn pigeons. Every day, it's bakery, bakery, bakery. <laughs> I can't afford to keep paying it. I'm spending so much money. I've got to change my lifestyle. I've been thinking of ways to try and make money, and because I'm single and always at home eating alone, I've come up with a great idea for a new takeaway delivery service called Super. It's a great idea. We deliver delicious bowls of soup to your house via a fleet of drones. <laughs> it could not be a simpler service. <laughs> what we haven't been able to do just yet is to work out how to make them land. <laughs> now my flash thinks of soup. But I'm pleased to say that I've been able to overcome my nerves and I've arranged a date right now. Ooh. I'm lucky to meet a very nice person I met on Tinder called Melanie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is nice. Okay. I haven't been on a date in so long. Oh, why haven't you been on a date in such a long time? Oh, well, my previous partner was a little bit clingy, so it all got a bit messy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you um, ever had any crazy exes that have tried to stalk you? I've had a couple, uh, yeah, that keep sort of trying to interfere with... Uh, <laughs> with <dates. laughs> Just ignore, ignore, ignore that. I've got a strategy for this. Ignore, ignore that. So, have you got, have you got any, um, have, you got, have you got any hobbies? Uh, have you got any... Ignore, ignore that, ignore that. Have you got any... <laughs> have you, uh, have you been here before? Uh, no, not been here What's for dinner? Well, I, I have arranged something, but I am starting to regret that now. Uh, but basically, I don't know if you've ever tried a... Uh, that's it. Delicious... Delicious... Uh, delicious bowl. That's it. Oh, it's a good... It's a, it's a, it's a good serve. It's a good serve. What are you fucking about? It's a good serve. Uh, what, what the... Right, well, what else have we got time for this week?